เมื่อปีที่ผ่านไปคนต่างชาติรู้จักประเทศไทยดีในแง่ประเทศที่ผลิตรถยนต์มากที่สุดติดหนึ่งใน10อันดับของโลกคนทั่วโลกยังรู้จักชื่อเสียงประเทศไทยว่าเป็นประเทศที่ผลิตและส่งออกรถกระบะเชิงพาณิชย์ขนาด1ตันอันดับหนึ่งของโลกมาหลายปีติดต่อกันด้วยศักยภาพที่น่าทึ่งของอุตสาหกรรมผลิตรถยนต์ของประเทศไทยทําให้ค่ารถยนต์จากต่างชาติโดยเฉพาะญี่ปุ่นต้องการลงทุนเพิ่มเติมมากขึ้นในประเทศไทยด้วยเป้าหมายของการผลิตรถกระบะเพื่อขายในประเทศที่ตอบโจทย์กับความต้องการของคนไทยที่นิยมใช้รถกระบะมากขึ้นขณะเดียวกันผลิตเพื่อการส่งออกไปทั่วโลกเนื่องจากโครงสร้างของฐานการผลิตรถกระบะมีความแข็งแกร่งเป็นอันดับต้นๆของโลก11มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมานั้นนิสสันประเทศไทยเขย่าตลาดรถยนต์กระบะปิกอัพขนาด1ตันด้วยการเปิดตัวรถกระบะรุ่นใหม่นาวาร่า NP 3 0 0โฉมใหม่เป็นครั้งแรกของโลกการกลับมาของรถกระบะรุ่นนี้เป็นหนึ่งในตัวอย่างสําคัญที่ค่ารถยนต์นิสสันประเมินแนวโน้มหรือทิศทางสําคัญในอุตสาหกรรมรถยนต์โดยเฉพาะอย่างยิ่งตลาดรถยนต์ในเอเชียตะวันออกเฉียงใต้หรืออาเซียนโดยมีประเทศไทยเป็นหัวใจของการผลิตรถกระบะ1ตันของนิสสันพบว่าในอนาคตโลกของเราจะมีแนวโน้มสําคัญ4ด้านขณะเดียวกันจะเกิดเทคโนโลยีสําหรับรถยนต์3อย่างค่ารถยนต์ที่สามารถมองเห็นแนวโน้มในอนาคตอย่างชัดเจนและกล้าไปตอบสนองก่อนใครย่อมอยู่ในฐานะผู้นําที่ได้เปรียบในการเปลี่ยนแปลงอุตสาหกรรมรถยนต์ของโลกทอล์กสามในวันนี้ผมได้รับโอกาสสาคัญในการสัมภาษณ์พิเศษแอนดี้พาเมอร์หัวหน้าฝ่ายวางแผนบริษัทนิสสันมอเตอร์จากสหรัฐผู้บริหารคนสําคัญระดับสูงที่มองเห็นการเปลี่ยนแปลงของอุตสาหกรรมและตลาดรถยนต์ทั่วโลกจากการเกิดขึ้นของแนวโน้มสําคัญ4ด้านผสมผสานกับการเกิดขึ้นของเทคโนโลยีสำหรับรถยนต์3อย่างไปติดตามกันในท็อก360กับผมบัญชาชุมชัยเวทครับ What is the Nissan innovation strategy here in Thailand? Well, I think I, I described uh, Thailand as one of the tiger economies, uh, underlying tiger economies. So right. it's one of the trendset, the global trendsetters, as as is Southeast Asia in general. Mm -hmm. So when I when I look at how one should innovate, I'm not necessarily looking at specific um, specific technologies. Mm -hmm. What I'm tending to look at is uh, social and technology trends. Right. So when we draw out the map, mm -hmm. I would I would point probably to what I would say is four. Major social trends, which are very relevant to Thailand and, and to Southeast Asia. Right. Now, number one is the so-called mega city. Mega city. M more and more people living in the city. Mm -hmm. Cities getting bigger. Mm -hmm. By, if you look globally, by 2050, about 70% of the world's population is going to be in a city, mm -hmm. and you see that particularly relevant in Southeast Asia. Right. Mm -hmm. um, now, if, so so obviously pollution starts to become uh, exactly. uh, an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next trend, uh, the young generation, what right. we call Gen, Gen Z, Gen Z. Uh, uh, yeah, or the millennials, if you like. Ah, yeah, today, right. today, they're 15 or 16 years old. Mm -hmm. They've been brought up as the Facebook generation. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very uh, social media savvy, mm -hmm. very tech savvy. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, have different values than you know somebody of my age. Right. Um, so, and again, this region is really on the leading edge mm -hmm. of you know open-mindedness. To that kind of social technology, right? We're living longer, mm. so seniors uh, are, are very important, mm. uh, and basically we're much more mobile and much more independent until much later in our life. Right. So we need to think about how we can how we can innovate right. for that for that class of society. Mm. And the last, which I think is also very relevant to Southeast Asia, mm. is the empowered female. Mm. Um, right. Basically, a woman's voice. In the family is becoming stronger and stronger. Mm. In fact, we think it's the biggest single segment mm. worldwide, mm. Uh, and you see that particularly fast in the changing relationship of female in society in in, in Southeast Asia. Right. Yeah? Uh -huh. And again, I'm using here Thailand as a proxy. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, if you talk about technical trends, technical trend, right? For me, there are three mega technical trends: mm -hmm. zero emissions. Connected vehicles and autonomous vehicles, mm -hmm. and they all apply equally to 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 Thailand. Right. If you tie the two together, if you draw a little map with those kind of four mm -hmm. social trends and those three mega trends, right. think, if you think about it, Gen Z, the millennial, uh -huh. been educated their whole life that the car is bad for the environment. Right. You come along, you say. We're going to have zero emissions. Mm -hmm. Okay, we get a tick in the box. Yep. That's great. Okay, I'm no longer polluting the planet. Mm -hmm. I can, I can't, I don't have to worry about what I'm damaging the air. Mm -hmm. 
but I still don't like cars because I'm not able to use my social media. Right. Okay, connected, connected cars. Mm -hmm. Now you have a connected car, I can use my social media in the car. Right. And I still, I still have to keep my eyes on the road yeah. and I can't really use it. Uh -huh. Okay, autonomous car. Right. Now I don't need to have my eyes on the road anymore. And <laughs> Nissan will bring the autonomous car by 2020. Right. Eyes off road. Uh -huh. Okay, once you've done that, mm -hmm. you can leverage the connected. Mm -hmm. Connected means that now your windscreen can become your monitor. Exactly. You can video conference, you can FaceTime mm -hmm. uh, in the car. Mm -hmm. So you give back to that millennial mm -hmm. uh, exactly what he or she was losing, mm -hmm. which is time. Mm -hmm. Now think about the senior. Right. The senior may be uh, in themselves not thinking about zero emissions, but their grandchildren exactly. are giving them a really hard time. Exactly. You know, Grandpa, uh -huh. you're driving, you're really messing up the planet. Exactly. Think about the air. And, and, and certainly as you get older, you start to think about the next generation. And you, know, you see the air in some of our mega cities and you say, oh, this uh -huh. is not good for my kids, uh -huh. and my grandkids. Uh -huh. Probably the connected part is not quite so interesting for mm. the senior. But what is interesting is biometrics the ability for the car mm. to monitor your health. Uh -huh. And this becomes more and more possible now uh -huh. where you know, we can detect uh, alcohol, yeah. Yeah, we can okay. connect, we can, well, in the seat belt, we can, we can monitor heart, right. we can detect a heart attack, we can, uh -huh. we can detect stress levels. Uh -huh. Now, if you link that with, I'm having a heart attack, mm -hmm. the car can take over because it's autonomous and take you to the hospital, right. this starts to become interesting to the seniors. Oh. Autonomous cars also means, of course, you can drive a car for much later in your life. Right. Mm -hmm. Empowered females. Mm -hmm. Probably you or I don't like this statement, but the reality is mm -hmm. women work harder than guys uh -huh. in general, you know, yeah. because they're taking care of the family. Exactly. Yeah? yeah. And more than we do, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, and they're, they're, they're really, most women in the family are really 24, on 24-7. Right. So you're looking to give something back. Mm -hmm. Now, they also, of course, have the maternal instinct. So mm -hmm. again, the idea that my children are breathing bad air, right. zero emissions, tick in the box. Uh -huh. Autonomous cars. I mean, if I can take the kids to school and back in the car mm -hmm. with all of the, the mayhem that's going on in the back of the car uh -huh. and I don't have to worry about being distracted, autonomous car is great. Right. And then when, I'm, when I have that autonomy, again, connected means I now have an opportunity mm -hmm. to really start, you know, maybe if I'm a working mom, right. I can start to do some of my work uh -huh. on a video conference within the car. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when you put that map together mm -hmm. and you, you overlay the basic underlying trends of, of Thailand and Southeast Asia, right. that starts to drive you mm -hmm. towards certain types of cars and mm -hmm. certain types of technology. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why, for example, in the, in the Navara pickup that we uh, launched today, you start to see touchscreen technology, right. yeah? which, is, which is a step, mm -hmm. step in towards the connected and the, mm -hmm. the, social, mm -hmm. the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why, uh, for example, when we recently launched the, the concept of the Lania in China, right. uh, this was a car absolutely designed for the millennials, uh -huh. uh, and that's an ideal car for interconnectivity. Mm -hmm. It's an ideal car for autonomous driving. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we sell the Leaf. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a zero emission car. Mm -hmm. um, and again, ideal to take these technologies. It's already a connected car. Right. These trends are the ones that I see very important for mm -hmm. Thailand. Right, but to do so, they require a lot of investment. Yes. It requires a lot of, uh, I mean, in terms of the funding to do that. And of course, with the infrastructure here in Thailand and with the, the government policy to support this, make a trend, yes. as you say that. Is it possible here? Well, I mean, it does need mm -hmm. some kind of stimulus. You, you, of course, you need the support of governments to make stimuli into investing in R&D. Uh -huh. uh, because you need w whether, the, for example, maybe Nissan is developing this, some technology in Japan, right. but if we, if we want to localize it in Thailand, mm -hmm. we need a supply base. So it's very important that uh, somewhere or other, you know, basically uh, as a country, right. you're investing in uh, intellectual mm -hmm. uh, properties, in talent, in right. people. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's a, I would say a fundamental, a well-educated mm -hmm. workforce is a, is a, is a fundamental. Mm -hmm. um, Thailand starts with a good basis from that point of view. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, there is a combination of the opportunity yeah. and whether the country chooses to grasp that opportunity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what now we're going to look into the future, yes. how Thailand can capture this opportunity. Yes, and as I say, I think it starts from a very good basis, uh -huh. and Nissan has been working here for 50 years, right. um, but now it's a it's chance to, see, seeing these trends, these mega trends, mm -hmm. seeing the social need, mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, basically, the populace then needs to go and mm -hmm. grab that that possibility and that that you know demand um, 
of their local government and their national government investment in this type of technology and this type of infrastructure. Right. So this is a new dimension for auto industry here in Thailand and also for the regional. Yeah, absolutely. In ASEAN. Yeah, right. I think so. And I think, as I say, um, electric cars are a great example. Uh -huh. You know, basically, when you have got such uh, pollutants in in cities, right. you know, the simplest way to make them. Uh, reduces, for example, turn your taxi fleets into low emission or zero emission. And you see that starting to happen in certain, certain places. London, for example, has already said by 2018, all of its taxis will be electric. Right. Uh, we've got a number of other cities that we're working with thinking the same way. And, you know, uh -huh. for example, Chinese government, I think basically uh, a great step forward would be for Bangkok to, 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 uh, to, to start talking about how can we use better right. uh, electric cars uh -huh. and what kind of infrastructure do we need to, to, to put in place to facilitate that. Mm -hmm. That then starts to drive the next part of the conversation, which, right. is, the, which is the connected car, which mm -hmm. naturally leads to the, the autonomous car. Uh -huh. so, so, yes, there has to be investment in both directions. Mm -hmm. And keep it stable. And, you, of course, you need mm -hmm. uh, stability for people to have confidence to invest. Right. Thank you very much, Andy. It's my great, my great pleasure. Thank you.